You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SRX policy rematch feature, concept and configuration. With policy rematch, whenever a security policy is modified, SRX re-evaluate associated active sessions to decide if they remain open or they must be closed. Then we'll compare SRX behavior regarding active sessions with no policy rematch configuration, with policy rematch configuration, and with policy rematch extensive configuration. To better understand the concept behind Juniper SRX policy rematch feature, suppose that we have many security policies and permit SSH is also between these policies. There is an active session between these two IP addresses and with destination port SSH or 22, which is permitted by SSH policy. Now we change the policy, rename the policy, change the action, change the source or destination IP address, delete the policy. What happens to the active session? This is the question that policy rematch feature want to answer this question. By default, Juniper SRX keeps the active sessions associated with the modified policy be open unless the policy is renamed, deactivated or deleted. In other words, changing source address, destination address, application or action of the policy does not close the active sessions in the default behavior. This is because traffic related to active sessions are not inspected with the policy anymore and it is the default behavior in any stateful firewall. But with policy rematch feature, any active session associated with a modified policy will be re-evaluated to decide whether they must remain open or must be closed. Policy rematch has an extensive option and the behavior is different when we use extensive option or when we don't use the extensive option. Without extensive option, the active sessions will be re-evaluated against only the modified policy to decide if the active sessions can remain open or must be closed. This is true when the source address, destination address, or the application of the policy change. But active sessions are closed if the action of associated policies change to deny traffic or when the associated policies rename, deactivated, or deleted. But with extensive option, Juniper SRC evaluate active sessions associated with the modified policy against all policies to decide if they can remain open or must be closed. It happens even if the policy is deactivated, renamed or deleted. We notice that the extensive option does not work correctly in a specific cases. For example, in application layer gateway data session. To configure and test policy rematch feature, we will create a SSH session from inside to the outside once without policy rematch feature, once with policy rematch feature but without extensive option, and once with policy rematch extensive option. In each case, we will change the policy and monitor the behavior of the active sessions. In the first configuration example, we configure no policy match option and we want to see the default behavior of active sessions when associated policy changes. Let's first make sure that the SSH traffic is permitted from inside to the outside zone with a show configuration command, run show configuration, display set and then grep permit dash SSH. As you can see, with the permit SSH policy, the traffic SSH is permitted from inside to the outside and the action is permit and log. Now we make an SSH session from inside to the outside zone.
Then we monitor the session with show security flow session. GREP slash 22, as you can see, SSH session is active between these two IP addresses. Now we change the action of the policy from permit to reject. Then we check again a status of active session associated with SSH policy. With the command delete security policies from inside to zone outside policy permit SSH then permit and again set change the action with the reject and commit again we check the status of SSH session as you can see it is still open the policy from permit to the reject as you can see the session is still active However, the action is changed to be rejected. This is because active session is not evaluated against the policy. But if we rename, deactivate, or delete the policy, we expect that the active session will be closed. To test it, we just rename the policy from permit SSH to permit SSH1 to see the behavior of the active session with a command rename security policies from zone inside to zone outside term policy permit ssh to policy permit dash ssh one before committing once again make sure that the ssh is still active and then commit and now again we monitor the status of the session with run show security flow session after a few seconds as you can see active session related to the ssh policy is discarded when we rename the policy with rollback 2 we change the configuration again to the default configuration again permit ssh and with the permit action and then commit in the second example, we enable policy match feature, but without extensive option. With command set security policies, with the command policy rematch, but without extensive command. In this case, when we change the policy, it's expected that the exact, this policy will be Reevaluated. We create an SSH session again from inside to the outside and check the status of the session with show security fellow session command again. We create a new session since our session is closed with the command uh, with the IP address. Now we check the status of SSH session flow session grab slash 22 as you can see the session is active then we change the action of the policy from permit to reject as we have done in the previous example delete and change it to reject and then commit it's expected that SSH session is discarded when it is Reevaluated to make sure we monitor the session again with the show security flow session. As you can see, this is another session, our session between 10, 121 and 1, 111 is closed. Again, roll back to to change the configuration to the default. A without policy match and again permit and then commit in the last example we use policy rematch with extensive command set security policies policy rematch and then extensive and then commit 
Again, we generate a SSH session from inside to the outside and check the session with the command show security flow session. Run show security flow session. Grep slash 22 as you can see the session ssh session is active then we rename the policy from permit ssh to permit ssh1 unlike previous two cases that the active session are closed when the policy is renamed with policy rematch extensive case active sessions are re-evaluated against all policy and it's expected that the SSH active session remain open. And we can rename again before committing. Again, make sure the session is still active. And then commit. And again, we check the session we, with command show security flow session. However, the name of the policy is change. You can see the session is still active because the active sessions are re-evaluated against all policies to make decision if they remain open or they must be closed.